I see the need in the construction industry for more transparency, more information, more documentation, and that's all about the technology, like how can, we, how can we get that information, how can we share it easily, how do we store it. Where I see laser scanning going is more use of it in construction. The four flatness analysis for concrete construction uh, is fairly new for us. Um, we saw an opportunity uh, with the change in the ASTM standards in 2014 to uh, start implementing that workflow. Before we, uh, we have to hire a third party to do the traditional uh, dipstick method, so now instead of that, we use our in-house laser scanner to capture that data and we capture even more than just you know, for the purpose of flow flatness and levelness. We try to hop on the concrete slab as soon as it's walkable, perform the scans in the field, process that data, and using scene applications uh, such as Rhythm and the Builder application, we're able to create floor flatness analysis that's with the ASTM 1155 standard. Scene is the a software by Faro that used to do on the registrations of the point cloud. So we use that to stitch the, the point cloud together to get to you know, the desired uh, tolerance that we want. And we are using plugins, Rhythm, um, which produces the builder and inspector app that we can run the FF and FL report and as well as creating heat maps and contours to show where our highs and lows are that we can later overlay on a CAD program. The final deliverable is a report. It's called the Flow Flatness, Flow Levelness Report. And uh, that, you know, meet the standard and that what we submit to our clients. We are continually trying to improve our workflow's efficiency as well as the time that it takes us to provide feedback for that floor, meaning we are pushing the limits to improve from that scanning within that 72 hour um, time period to actually scanning during the pour. We are addressing the issues real time, providing that feedback to the team, pointing out potential issues that could occur and could affect our FF and FL numbers. And they love to hear those high numbers that they reach. They love to get in the high 50s and 60s and you can see them out there high-fiving each other and you get guys out there that you see them and then you're getting high five, and it's great. For me, bringing the scanner in-house was, it was a no-brainer. The savings are everywhere. We're not only getting that information from the slab, but we're getting all the information around it, as well as quality assurance down the road. Um, so we can back check that, that data at any time period, but also um, minimizing lost time, waste reduction, also safety. At DPR, one of our core values is ever forward, and that's always about pushing the envelope and, and um, improving and learning and educating ourselves and really pushing the industry forward. Um, and that is definitely what we try to do with our scanning. We're always looking for new ways to use it. Every day, I feel like a pioneer, and I feel like our team is constantly creating new ways and leveraging the, app, the current applications and current and plugins and software and equipment in the field to actually run this analysis and provide our teams with answers as, as fast as we can.